This is part 21 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss implementing client side validation in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. Implementing client side validation in Razor Pages is straightforward. All we have to do is reference these three script files in the order that is specified. First, jQuery, followed by that, jQuery.validate, and finally, jQuery.validate.unobtrusive. At this point, one question that might come to your mind is, should we load these script files on the layout page or on an individual Razor page? The answer to this question really depends on where you need client-side validation. If you need client-side validation on several pages within your application, then load them using the layout file. If you need them on just one or two Razor pages, then load them only on those one or two specific Razor pages. With the second approach, the script files are not unnecessarily downloaded if the user never visits those one or two specific Razor pages. If we take a look at the project we've been working with, we only have got a few Razor pages. Details, Edit, Index. We use this Edit Razor page both for adding a new employee as well as editing existing employees and we need client-side validation only on this edit tracer page. So we'll be loading all the script files from this edit tracer page. And if we take a look at this layout file and scroll down a bit, notice we're already loading the jQuery script file from the layout file. This means we only have to load these two other files, jQuery validate and jQuery validate unobtrusive. If you recollect from our previous videos in this series, we created this ASP.NET Core Razor Pages project using Visual Studio 2019 web application template. And this template has created this file for us, validation scripts partial.cshtml. And this file is present in the shared folder. Let's open this file. As the name of the file implies, this is a partial view. We'll discuss partial views in detail in our upcoming videos. For now, understand to have these two files loaded jquery validate and jquery validate unobtrusive you we just have to render this partial view we'll do that in just a bit before that let's run this project and see the type of validation we have at the moment let's navigate to the create razor page at the moment we only have server-side validation these fields name email and department are required and we'll come to know about the required validation errors only when we submit this form by clicking the save button notice now we see the required validation errors and when i provide a valid name the validation error message does not disappear the validation error goes away only upon resubmitting the form it would be great if we have all these validations happening on the client side as well as we start to type we get instant feedback. There's no wait time as there are no unnecessary round trips between the client and the web server. It also reduces the load on the server because the form is only submitted to the server upon passing all the validations on the client side. The first script file jQuery is already loaded by the layout view. This means we only have to load these two other script files and the code required for that is already present within this partial view. So to have these two files loaded, we have to render this partial view from our edit tracer page. If we take a look at our layout file, notice we have a section here called scripts and we're using this section on our edit page to include this custom jQuery code. We're going to use the script section to render this partial view as well. If you're new to sections, we discuss them in detail in part 29 of our Razor Pages tutorial. To render a partial view, we use partial tag helper and then specify the name of the partial view. To get the name right, let's copy it from the Solution Explorer. Close the tag and let's rerun the project. Navigate to the create razor page and let's submit this form without filling any of the form fields. We get all the validation errors. Notice now as I start to type, we get instant feedback. There's no wait time. All these validations are now happening on the client side. Now let's understand how client side validation works in ASP.NET Core. Let's say we want to make this name field required. So within the employee class, we decorate the name property with the required attribute. And this is the error message that we want to display if a value for the name property is not provided. And then in the razor page, we include an input element and bind this input element to this name property using ASP4 tag helper. And this tag helper generates this HTML. Notice the type of the input element is set to text. 
because the name property data type is string and it also has generated these additional data dash attributes data dash val equals true enables client side validation data dash val dash required specifies the error message to display if the required validation has failed and notice this error message is the same as the error message that we have specified here so this means if you want to change this error message simply change it using this error message property these data dash attributes allow us to add extra information to an HTML element and they carry all the information required to perform client-side validation. These data dash attributes are then read by the unobtrusio library that is jQuery.validate.unobtrusio to perform client-side validation. At this point, you might be wondering, we have client-side validation, so do we really need server-side validation as well? The answer is a big yes. As the name implies, client-side validation happens on the client machine without a round trip to the web server. This obviously improves performance and user experience as the feedback is immediate. However, an end user can easily bypass the client-side validation by disabling JavaScript support in the browser. For this reason, you should never ever rely on just the client-side validation. Irrespective of whether we have client-side validation or not, we should always have server-side validation. If client-side validation is not working on your machine, check the following. Make sure browser support for JavaScript is not disabled. Also make sure all the three client-side validation libraries are loaded in the order that is specified right here. Finally, make sure these validation libraries are loaded for the environment that you are testing against. For example, in your project, you have used the environment tag helper and specified these three environments, development, staging, and production. But you have forgot to specify a value for the environment. If we have not explicitly specified an environment name, it defaults to production. As a result, these script files will not be loaded for the right environment and client-side validation will not work on your local machine. If you are new to environment tag helper, we discussed it in detail in part 38 of our ASP.NET Core tutorial. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.